Some of them wept. Others, like Witherspoon, bowed their heads in prayer. He's talking about at the signing of the Declaration. And Samuel Adams rose and said, we have this day restored the sovereign to whom alone men ought to be obedient. He reigns in heaven and from the rising to the setting sun, may his kingdom come. Yes. That was announced at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Don't tell me we're a Muslim nation just as much as we're a Christian nation or that we're a Hindu nation just as much as we are a Christian nation. We love all those people. They're welcome here in America. Nobody's, nobody's saying we, need, we should hurt them. That's, that's not the point of any of this. The point is, what did he, he raise up this nation to be? And we're on a mission to see those ancient paths, foundations, markers be restored, and they're going to be restored. Comes a point when you just have to, you just have to finally say, we don't care if we offend you. Truth is truth. John Adams said facts are stubborn things. You may not like our heritage. You may not like these things, but, but they're true nonetheless. And God's, God's about to show people that he's stronger than they think he is. I've said it before, I'll say it again. He is not nervous. He is not intimidated. Let me just read you one more thing about these markers. I could give you many more facts than what I'm about to give you regarding education in America. But 106 out of the first 108 colleges in America were founded on the Christian faith. I hope this goes viral. 106 out of 108 of the first 108 colleges in America were founded on the Christian faith. Students at Harvard were required to read the scriptures twice daily. Oh, the Bible's not welcome in public education. That would be unconstitutional. Idiots. Idiots, thank you. Harvard's founders stated, all knowledge without Christ is vain. Harvard's motto was, for Christ and the church. The rules and precepts of Harvard said, quote, every student shall consider the main end of his study is to know God in Jesus Christ. Listen to it again. The rules and precepts of Harvard stated, every student shall consider the main end of his study is to know God in Jesus Christ. Princeton's motto was, under the protection of God, she flourishes. Jonathan Dickinson, the first president of Princeton, said, and I quote, cursed be all learning that is contrary to the cross of Christ. The 
countless other examples could be given. Under God is more than a religious quote stuck in the Pledge of Allegiance to satisfy America's Christian zealots. It is, in fact, our history. So we're going to plow through all of the unbelief, all the lies, all the rewriting of our history. We're going to abandon the bad and we're going to cling to the good. What needs to be torn down can be torn down. We're going to abandon the bad. We're going to hold fast to the good. The ancient boundaries that he set up that are all about his kingdom purposes in the earth. And we're going to see that restored. going to see a Bible tweeting president. I just know it. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up, worship team. Tim, we're going to pray. I used to, I used to pull back somewhat from talking too much about government in meetings like this because there's always somebody that accuses you of being political. And really, I don't like politics and, and I don't like the political spirit, but I love government. And I love government because God is government. He is the lawgiver, the judge, and the king. And all government is supposed to flow from him. And when it works the way he intends it to work, it brings peace, wholeness, righteousness, health, prosperity. That's the way it's supposed to work. When man gets involved and perverts it, then it turns into uh, illicit power, a perversion of power. So I don't like the political spirit. I'm not into politics, but I am into government. I've gone past the point now of caring what anybody thinks when I that, that would think that we shouldn't talk about these things in a in a gathering like this. Nothing could make Satan happier than for the church to not be involved in prayer such as this. We're going to invite his kingdom to come into this nation and his will to be done. Unashamedly, boldly, we're going to invite his kingdom to come and his will to be done in this nation. We're going to ask for restoration of the ancient markers. We're going to ask for a, continue, a continued transformation of the courts. Until there is a majority of women and men in this nation sitting on benches that can't find the word abortion in the word privacy. Most Americans don't know that is the one word that the Roe v. versus Wade decision was based on, the right to privacy. And in the word privacy, they found the right to legislate abortion. You just pretty much have to be crazy to believe that that's possible. But we're going to see the continued transformation of the courts. We're going to see, continue to see dishonesty and injustice people with without integrity exposed and I don't care what party they're with makes zero difference to me
we're going to say God exalted.